Modern warships are not only faced with threats from the sea surface, but also from threats below the surface, such as torpedoes. Therefore, it is important for countries to continue developing their ship defense technology. One of the latest breakthroughs in ship protection is the use of the Contralto anti-torpedo missile system on warships, including the Philippine Navy's Jose Rizal. Let's discuss in more depth the upgrade of the two Jose Rizal frigates. Two of the Philippine Navy's frigates are now equipped with an anti-torpedo system, France's naval group announced Wednesday, amid the continuing tension in the South China Sea. The Jose Rizal is a frigate-class warship that is part of the Philippine Navy's modernization initiative. Launched in 2019, this ship has a number of advanced features and is equipped with high-tech equipment. One of the biggest challenges in developing warships is increasing defense capabilities against increasingly sophisticated torpedo attacks. The announcement about the Philippine Navy's two Jose Rizal class frigates upgrade came days after China released its latest version of its territorial map covering the boundaries in the South China Sea, including areas within Manila's territory. In a statement provided to Naval News on September 6, Naval Group confirmed the anti-torpedo reaction module was successfully installed into the Sea Guard decoy launching system of the Philippe Navy's two Jose Rizal class frigates. This anti-torpedo system is fitted with its associated reaction module Contralto, which computes the most appropriate evasive maneuver and deployment sequence once a threat is detected representatives from the Philippine Navy, Armed Forces of the Philippines, Philippine Ministry of Defense, and experts in anti-submarine warfare ASW, systems witnessed the setting and testing of the module at Subic Aguila Bay, Philippines. The commissioning of the ASW module and Contralto anti-torpedo reaction module completes the armament of the two Jose Rizal class frigates acquired as part of the modernization of the Philippine fleet. The successful installation of the anti-torpedo system was carried out after an upgrade of the combat management system CMS, supplied by Hanwha Systems of South Korea and of the Sea Guard decoy launcher system supplied by Terma of Denmark. Contralto advantages, early detection. This system is equipped with early detection technology capable of detecting torpedo threats long before they reach the ship. This provides more time to respond and activate defense systems. Accurate tracking. Contralto has highly accurate tracking capabilities, allowing ships to identify and track torpedo movements with high precision. This allows the defense system to determine the best strategy to deal with the threat. Missile use. This system uses anti-torpedo missiles that can be launched from ships to destroy approaching torpedoes. This missile is designed with high technology to ensure successful target destruction. Operational flexibility. Contralto provides operational flexibility with the ability to adapt to a wide range of torpedo types and attack tactics. This makes Jose Rizal's ships better prepared to face threats that continue to grow at sea. The use of the Contralto anti-torpedo missile system on the Jose Rizal has had a significant positive impact. Ship security was substantially improved, providing better protection against torpedo threats that could damage the ship's integrity. In addition, the ship's operational effectiveness is also increased due to the ability to operate in a maritime environment full of potential threats. Innovations like these underscore the Philippines' commitment to facing maritime security challenges and safeguarding national sovereignty. Along with advances in defense technology, the Jose Rizal ship proves that investment in maritime security is a strategic step to protect national interests amidst global uncertainty. Armed Forces Chief General Romeo Brauner Jr. said earlier the country needs more ships, aircraft, and air defense systems. If we had more budget, we wanted to buy a submarine. Almost all ASEAN regions have submarines and we don't have one. We need to strengthen our own presence in the West Philippine Sea but this will entail more funds from our side. With the increase in budget during the current Horizon 3 phase, we hope that the dream of having at least three submarines and the largest warship can soon come true.